I, do you know what? The other day I looked at, my friend was drinking a can of um, Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. And I picked it up and I, I thought, oh, do you know I've not seen one of these in a while. And I looked at the, the back of it and it said the sugar quantity in it was something like 40% in that region. Yeah, so it was 39 grams in a, in a can, yeah. No, that's right. I was like, so 40% of it is, sugar. is just sugar. Correct. And people are just... There you go. No wonder. Well, that's why we have a fatty liver disease pandemic. And sugar's, sugar's fundamentally linked to things like cancer as well, right? Yes, absolutely. And we know why now. We know how. You know, through what mechanisms. What are the, what are the mechanisms? Oh, for cancer? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, ins- anything that makes insulin go up in- increases your risk for cancer because insulin is a growth factor. Okay. Secondly, because insulin causes mitochondrial dysfunction, okay, it increases these other phenomena, like, for instance, the pentose phosphate shunt and the um, uh, Randall cycle and the de novo lipogenesis, which is what cancer cells need to be able to multiply and divide. Okay, So it's basically feeding the cancer. Number three, certain cancers, particularly pancreatic cancer, have an enzyme in them called transketolase.